Hi folks, so today we are upcycling this old Playmobil barn that I bought for about £10 many years ago, like three or four years ago. It got played with a lot and now it's spent the past couple of years in the back of the garage getting cold and damp and discoloured. So I thought, you know what, let's upcycle it into something that actually gets played with once more. So uh, I do try and let Rafiki join in where I can. Sometimes it's through gritted teeth. Um, but this seems like a good thing that he could start helping out with right at the beginning when we're not getting to the details. So I painted it in a dark kind of green turquoise colour. And then I painted all the bits that used to be white. I started off with a dark brown colour. Spray paint would have been quicker and would have given a cleaner job. But I was trying to just use the paints that I already had around in the house because I didn't want to spend any money on this project. And then I mixed uh, a little bit of red in with the gold to give it a kind of rose gold colour. And it's not perfectly painted, it's just a first coat so it doesn't have to be perfect. And I just went back and I kept going back, um, painting things, letting them dry painting another coat, letting that dry until I had a good enough base colour that I could go back and start doing some highlights. So I started dry brushing on the brown with a gold. So putting very little paint actually on the brush and keeping the brush very dry and making sure that it doesn't cover, it's just for kind of to give a secondary highlight type of colour. To, to try and get a feel of texture. I love texture and I love bumps and cracks and crevices and I love giving things the feeling of history. Like, they, like they're not brand new and they haven't just come out of the factory, they've been around and weathered for years. And I just kept doing that all over everywhere. Playmobil is amazing to do this with because everything will come apart and you can slot everything back in. I tried dry brushing it before I then went, you know what, this needs to pop a bit more. It, it's gonna feel a bit too dark. So I kept the inside of it dark, but I wanted the outside of the roof to pop a bit more. So I then started just slathering on the lighter paint. Now this was a clock kit that had been bought from a charity shop ages ago. And when I looked in, there were actually loads of pieces missing, so it wasn't gonna work. So I thought, well, let's use that. I wanna go a bit steampunky on this project, actually. I feel like that would be quite cool. So I just started painting everything in the kind of goldy, brown, rust kind of color. Again, slathering it on to try and give some texture and then waiting for it all to dry. And I also just went hunting around the house. So anything that looks kind of coggy or like pipes or that was, or old Lego bits, or old screws, or forks, buttons. I just gathered them all and started painting. I started painting some of the bits with the turquoise, but again, I made sure that it didn't all get covered. I wanted it to look interesting and detailed and textured. And then on to the assembly and hoping dearly that everything still fit together. Playmobil is amazing because it will all come apart and so everything can be painted separately and then put back together. So I just wanted to check that everything fit before I started super gluing everything together and making sure that the colours all work together and I wasn't, I'm not too worried at this stage. If bits of paint are flaking off and whatnot because I knew that I could go back and redo them a bit and touch them up. This was just a very provisional assembly. And then came the really fun bit, the really creative bit, working out where things could go, how they could all interact with each other, trying to almost create a little world and a scene. So it's almost as if we stumbled across a mad inventor's cabin in the middle of the woods. That was the vibe I wanted to go with. And I just super glued everything together and tried to make sure that for once I would not super glue my hands together. And this time I managed not to super glue my hands, but I did have a slight super glue mishap with the bow, but everything was fine in the end. So I just started 
having fun, testing a few different layouts, um, moving things around a bit, super gluing stuff. Just really, I wanted to make sure that there was also enough space. I didn't want to cover everything. I needed to make sure that there was enough space that things could actually be played with as well. And then I went to stick the roof back on and I discovered that I had uh, one of the cogs was in the way. So I then had to take it all apart and move the cog over slightly and before sticking it back on, but that was okay. So there I am sticking the cog on and there's a little red gap there. So I stuck this penny on top of it and it was fine and then it looked great. And then I went to, once everything had been assembled, I went to touching up the details. And again, I didn't want it to look too perfect because that's not my style. And when everything had been put together, then we, then I varnished it. And I did it with wood varnish because that's what we have in hand and I didn't want to go out and spend any money on the project. Um, and it did affect the colour a bit, but for this project, I didn't really, it was fine. I didn't mind so much. Ready, and then it was ready for the moment of truth. Will Rafiki actually play with it? And he did. And I'd originally intended that these corks were stools, but he loved playing with them as people. So they're now cork people in their magical inventors, steampunk. Thanks very much for joining me today. Like and subscribe for more videos of upcycling old toys so they can come out from that dark corner of the garage and be played with once more. Thanks. Bye.